you've probably seen this teleportation bug making the rounds again. Yep, CS2 decided to cosplay as Portal 3. I'll break down exactly how it works, why it happens, and how Valve might fix it. And B hopping, still a disaster. On high FPS, it's like the game nerfs your mouse wheel, like you have to pay tariffs for having extra FPS. But if you lock the game to 64 FPS with these optic binds, boom, you turn it into a human pogo stick. Landing hop so perfect, it feels scripted. The teleportation bug just came back recently, proving Valve really love recycling. Well, dig into that, plus some demo bugs that arise from out of nowhere, because of course they do, right after a word from today's sponsor. Skins Monkey is an automated trading site. Simply trade an old skin that you don't want for a new skin that you do want. The advanced filters make it super easy to find anything. Use my code COOK to get $5 on your first trade and a 35% deposit bonus. They've got 24-7 live support and don't forget to take part in the free giveaways. They've got free daily, weekly and monthly giveaways. Link is in the description. All right, first, let's break down the CS2 teleport bug before Reddit turns it into black magic. To make it work consistently, you just cap your FPS to 64 because nothing screams like best FPS shooter, like forcing your $2,000 PC to run at Nintendo 64 speeds. Yeah, it uh, works at higher values too, but 64 is where it's most stable because of course it is Counter-Strike. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm only testing this on a private server with insecure commands. I don't condone using it in actual games and I'm definitely not spoiling someone's experience cosplaying Nightcrawler. The whole thing starts when you bind your mouse wheel to infinity. Normally, your mouse yaw. it's just a boring multiplier for how far your mouse moves, your view, left or right, like horizontal. Set up a high value. At this point, nothing too wild happens. You just spin like a Beyblade on caffeine. But if you tell the game, yo, it's infinite, the math pipeline gets primed, logic declines, value crosses the line, and boom, you're at the map origin in record time. The real chaos only kicks in when you hit record demo stop. Why? Because starting a demo forces the client to request a full update instead of the usual incremental deltas. The full update says, hey server, give me a complete world snapshot. I'm fresh out of frames. The server obliges, the client applies it, and suddenly your corrupted input gets shoved right into the prediction system. That's where infinity stops being funny number and collapses into nan. No, not your nan. Not a number. The engine now looks at your player state, sees Nan and goes, Welp, guess you live at 000 now. Congratulations, you just teleported to the zero coordinates of the map. In other words, MYO Infinity sets the trap, record stop pulls the trigger and prediction happily detonates your coordinates. Valve's fix is honestly simple. Clamp MYO to a reasonable float range and sanitize the input so Infinity and Nan never sneak through. Until then, welcome to CS2, where your mouse sensitivity and recording a demo can literally become a teleport command. So let's talk about the B-Hop bug. After Valve pushed the anim graph to update, B-Hopping has been broken in every single possible way. At normal FPS, it feels like your mouse wheel is on strike, but lock your game to 64 FPS with these optic binds, suddenly you're hitting every single jump like you've turned on training wheels mode. It's not skill, it's just it's just whatever this is, you know? Some players kind of figured out that you could replicate this by lowering your mouse pulling rate. So yeah, if you have your 2004 $2 Pro Gamer mouse, it acts like a bug activator. Mine doesn't go below 125 hertz, so I couldn't test it. But honestly, that's probably for the best. Performance? Still a mess. Frame drops, stutter, crashes. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm benchmarking the game. Sometimes it feels like the game is benchmarking my patience. Some of you are trying to play on really budget PCs as well. If my experience is this way, I can only imagine your experience. Look, I don't want to sound like a whiner. I love Counter-Strike. I even love Counter-Strike 2 when it works. But right now, it seems like you're fighting bugs more than players. Some people are abusing the exploits. Others are avoiding them. I don't really understand, like, how are you supposed to enjoy this game? So please, Valve, before you invent a new gun skin for $50,000, maybe let us just 
focus on the core issues of the game. I hope you liked the video, subscribe for more, and thank you to all my channel members.